The comms kit is used as the communication device that wirelessly connects the communications between the IQ gateway, IQ system controller, and the IQ batteries. If the devices are experiencing communications issues, this video will guide you through the on-site troubleshooting steps to correct the issue. Before going to the customer's site, make sure that you have these items before you go. Access to the IQ combiner and the system controller if it's installed in a location that may not be accessible from outside of the home. You'll need to have a T10 star bit for removing the screws from the enclosure of the comms kit. You'll also need the installer app installed on your mobile device and be able to access the customer's system. And the final item you'll need is a spare comms kit for testing and replacement of the comms kit if needed. You'll first want to locate the IQ gateway and verify that the gateway and the cell modem have power. Look for the lit LEDs on each device. This will tell you that the gateway has power and at least one USB port has power. Locate the IQ gateway breaker in either in the IQ combiner box or in the system controller. In the combiner box the gateway breaker will be located in the middle breaker position. For the gateway breaker that's located in the system controller, the gateway breaker will be in the bottom right breaker position if there is no generator installed. If there is a generator, the gateway breaker will be in the upper right position, typically on the outer poles of a quad breaker. Turn the breaker off and verify the gateway LEDs are no longer lit. Wait one minute before turning it back on again. Once you turn the breaker off, it'll take roughly two minutes for the gateway to reboot. Once the gateway reboots proceed to the next step and start IP mode. Start IP mode on the gateway by quickly pressing and releasing the AP mode button. When the gateway is in the combiner box, the AP mode button will be the left button as shown in image 1. When the system is using a standalone gateway, the IP mode button will be the top button, shown in image 2. Once AP mode is started, open the installer app and locate the customer system and connect to the gateway's AP mode within the IQ gateway connectivity step. Once connected, navigate to the device provisioning step and start the provisioning process. If the process completed with no errors, rebooting the gateway has resolved the issue. If the provisioning shows an error, continue to the next step. If the comms kit is still in the black enclosure, remove the four screws holding the case together using the T10 star bit, and then remove the USB stick from the adapter cable. Plug the USB stick back into the gateway. Verify that it is powered by looking for the blue LEDs on the stick as shown in the picture on the right. Provision the system again assuming an extender is not being used. If the USB stick is not powered, swap the cell modem and USB stick ports. Check that both devices have power. If the cell modem doesn't get power, contact customer service for further troubleshooting or submit an IQ Gateway RMA request in the Enphase Installer Portal or the Enphase Service Manager. If both devices get power from the gateway, continue to the next step and swap out the existing comms kit USB stick for the spare one you brought. Reprovision again. If it provisions without errors, the new comms kit corrected the issue. At this point you can contact customer support to attempt recovery of the original comms kit, or you can leave the new comms kit installed and can leave the site. Issue fixed. Thank you for watching another video from the Enphase Learning and Development Team. Have a great day.